Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to make raggy patch t-shirts and hats. After applying your image onto your fabric with spray adhesive, heat your press to 385. Then, with heavy pressure, press for 60 seconds. So I started doing these Reggae Patch t-shirts after finding some good quality Gildan shirts at the Dollar Tree. I wanted to sub on them, but they are on 100% cotton, so I figured if it's done on hats, why not try shirts? I actually really like the look, and I hope you guys do too. It's also a great alternative if you've been having a hard time finding sublimation shirts like I have. After pressing the image onto the fabric, cut around the image about a quarter of an inch or more depending on the look and how much fray you want. Next you're going to want to take a sharp pointy tool, such as the weeding tool from a Cricut, and pull pieces of the weaving out, but be sure to only pull out around the picture and not the image itself. It will look very messy at first, but will be cleaned up a bit later. Continue doing so around the entire image. After you're done fraying the image, go around with your fingers and pull and loosen the edges to get a good fray. Then clean up the pieces that look a little too messy by cutting them off or leave them if you like their really distressed look. Once you're done cleaning up the edges, take your fray check and put some around the entire edge, but be sure not to put too much or it will come out hard and crunchy. After figuring out your placement, add your Aileen Super Fabric Adhesive to the entire back of the fabric, paying close attention to getting it around the entire edge but just under the fray. 
This stuff dries fairly quickly, so you want to be a bit quick with it. Also be careful not to get any adhesive anywhere but behind the fabric or it will leave a mark. For the hat, you will do the exact same process that you did for the shirt. To ensure the image is centered correctly, I like to fold the image down the middle in half and apply the glue on the center seam first, then add glue to the rest of the image. Hope you guys like this look as much as I do. Feel free to hit that like and subscribe button for more tutorials like this. And thanks for watching.